Eh, stuck, help me. Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. It's been a while that I made a video, but today I wanted to show you guys something new. Uh, I had a question from one of the viewers who was asking me if I could help him get the private keys from the Samurai wallet. And the Samurai wallet is a, a Android wallet, so I have my Android phone here, my new phone. I needed a new phone to be able to make some new tutorials, so yeah, we're gonna do that. So, I don't know if y'all can see this, but let's just get started. Let's first get that app. Let's get that app that we were searching for. It's called the Samurai app. Yeah, the Samurai wallet. See it here, Samurai wallet. So we're going to install the Samurai wallet, which is yet unreleased. It isn't released officially yet, but you can use it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Unreleased app installed. Well, open the app. Once we've opened this wallet, we have to start a new wallet. And it's always the same. You need to start with a passphrase, which is very important to write down. So let's make it an easy one for us. Let's call it the Bitcoin Day Trader. Write it down on paper. So I have my paper here. I have a pen here and I'm writing it down. Wow, look at my handwriting. It's terrible. Can you see it? Wow. I understand that Samurai cannot provide me assistance in the case of lost forgotten passphrase. Yeah, I know. Okay, set a pin code. The pin, let's write it down too. This is the important part. This is the part that you actually need to get the private keys because you need to have the mnemonic code, which is the 12 word backup. So you see this in your screen and I'll probably put it in the screen of this video as well but we have to write down all these words and it's important the order of the the order of the words so it's important that we write it down correctly so it's and we need this later on in this tutorial so shoulder next pluck solve drift oh, this is so boring spatial virus salon still pattern wrap and the last one is having so much Fun. I wrote it down and I expect it. I don't even have to rewrite it. Well, that's something new. Okay, so we have our Samurai wallet. We want to receive something. The reason why we want to receive something is to be able to get a receiving address, which we later on use in this tutorial to know for sure that the mnemonic code has been opened or something. You make a receiving address and let's just write down couple of things of that address so it starts with 38 UK 5 so once we have wrote down these things on paper we have all the necessary information from the wallet well not everything I think I am forgetting something because we're gonna use Ian Coleman that's what his name was Ian Coleman's website and I think we need the derivation path so can we find it somewhere receive advanced that was the trick Oh, this is a new receiving address that doesn't matter but what's important is down here in the screen you see the path and the path that's let's write it down that's m49-0-0 i keep calling it dash i don't even know if it's dash and then zero one so that's the derivation path it's important to have this information because we need that to change this mnemonic code these 12 word backup with the password into the private keys now we have everything that we need so let's write down this new address 38 big f big r o u big c that's enough we don't have to write it down entirely once you have collected this information i've created a new wallet for this tutorial but maybe you already have a wallet and you already have your 12 word backup and your password because that's essentially all that we need and we need to know a receiving address which you can find by pressing receive or just chose choose an older wallet that you have used before once you have written down these things then you're ready to go we can go to the internet i think i usually go to ian coleman so here you see it ian coleman.io slash bip39 you can go to that website this one here ian coleman and i know the last time that i showed you guys this in my tutorials a couple of you guys were like, yeah, this is fake. You're gonna, you're gonna scam us or something like that. And I just wanna be sure that we won't get scammed. So my advice is go to this website, scroll all the way down, and you can find an offline usage. So you can use this tool without having to be online. In your browser, select save as and save this page as a file. Double click on the file, open in the browser, in the offline computer. So you can do that. Oh, here, save as. So press somewhere on the screen, save as. The mnemonic code, let's save it to our desktop. Now we have it on our desktop. The reason why this works is it's written, I think, in JavaScript, which can be run offline. So you don't need to be online. So what you can do with this file that we have here, this bib mnemonic code HTML, you can even copy this file and put it on a offline computer, a computer that is not even connected to the internet. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna turn off my network card. Where can we do that? Show available networks? No. 
Network settings? No. Nope. Where is that old school screen? Is, is this the screen that I was looking for? No. So you go, start, you go to your control panel, then you go to your network and sharing center, and then here you press the adapter settings. Then you get to this screen. And here you see that our internet, ethernet is connected. Ethernet 2 is not connected, but we are going to disconnect, disable it. Let's be sure and disable this ethernet 2 as well. If I am correct, and I go to the internet and I wanna go to Google now, I do not have no internet. Now we know that we are not connected to the internet at all. We can also see it down here in the screen. And now we can open this. And as you see, it's still working. But now we are locally. It's not, it's not on the internet. So we're not connected to the internet. We can search, we can go to YouTube or whatever. And we are sure that we do not have no internet. See? not working. So once you are at this website, which is not a website anymore, once you have this local HTML file, you can write down your mnemonic code here. We just wrote it down on a piece of paper, as you can see. Maybe you can't see, but what we have to do here is we have to write down our mnemonic code. So that was shoulder, next, block, solve, drift, spatial, virus, salon, still, pattern, wrap, and fun. If everything is correct, you won't see a notification at the top of our screen. If we make a small mistake, you will see Fun is not in the word list, so it's fun. Gotta make sure there's no yellow on the top of our screen here. So, and the next thing is we have to put the passphrase that we just created, which was Bitcoin Day Trader, which we just created. And remember that we wrote down this deprivation path, this M49 something. Uh, I think that we can go to BIP49 here which automatically makes it a 4.9. And as you can see here, M49 dash, zero dash, zero dash. I don't know, I call this a dash, even though it's not a dash, but I hope you get it. Here we go. Do we get our private keys right now? Was this all that we have to do? I think it is. As you can see here, here are the addresses. So here you see the first address, the second address, and as you can see, 38UK5F is the thing that we just wrote down here. And the second one is 38FROU, which is also written down here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see it. Now I'm pretty sure that these are the private keys of those addresses, these two. So here are the addresses, here are the private keys of the addresses. That is a way you can, you can get your private keys. And I remember from my last tutorial, last time that I did this, um, I forgot to teach you guys that you can change the external and internal option here. What does this mean? When this is a zero, these are only, these are only your receiving addresses, the newly generated receiving addresses. So if you, for instance, have, let's say one Bitcoin on this address here and you spend some of your money and you spend, for instance, a half a Bitcoin somewhere else, if you would have sent a half of your Bitcoin to an friend or something or to a company, then it will automatically empty the entire address. So the remaining funds will be sent to another address, which you can find by going to internal wallets. So press a one here and then you get different addresses. These addresses are probably, I'm not sure because I don't have any money in this account. I, I think I'm sure about this. I think I am sure. It usually is the case that these are the addresses that are generated once you have sent some funds to somebody else and the remainder will be sent to these addresses. It's also important. Use it with a zero here or with the one here. So here you have the private keys. That's an easy trick. It's not that hard. We don't need the, in well we need the internet to get this file, but once we have this HTML file, we can just use it. Very simple. That is how you get your private keys from the Samurai wall. It's not that hard. I thought it would be a little bit harder, but it's not that hard. The reason why it took me so long to make this tutorial was because I needed a new phone to be able to show you guys how to do this. I think that is it. I hope you guys did enjoy this short tutorial and I hope you guys now know how to get your private keys from this Samurai wallet. And if you guys did enjoy my video, let me know it by giving it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, what is it what I always say? And if you're new to my channel, it would be so awesome if you would subscribe to my channel because I make these kinds of videos every once in a while. It's been a while. I've been doing some other stuff lately. But yeah, thank you all for being here and see you guys next time. It's been a while. I haven't made any videos in a while for this channel. So I hope you guys do enjoy this new video and I will be trying to continue making videos for this channel, even though sometimes I'm not in the mood to make videos for this channel. I will explain that later on in a newer video, I guess. So.
so just to keep myself going you know making new videos telling you guys stories as always thank you all for watching and see you guys next time okay. i don't know if you noticed but i have a cool chain it's a cool necklace but as you can see it is a bitcoin coin coin let me just keep it here eh, stuck help me